What is your first memory? Mine... Mine is somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday. Whatever happened before is gone. Forever gone. Well, I'm reviewing a game that is similar to Planet of Lana, a day after the review of Planet of Lana, okay? And I have a lot of things about this, uh, I'm going to say, which is going to relate to the previous review of Planet of Lana. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, just go back to the two minute video of me talking about it. I try to keep these reviews short because I think trying to drag it out for eight minutes is just not my type of thing unless they're really something passionate I want to talk about with the game. With this one called Dordogne, Basically, the entire setting is in the town of Dordogne in France from a person named Mimi who came from Paris to go through her recently deceased grandmother's house. The entire game is in a 3D world, but using 2D cutouts that are all watercolor paintings. It is a very beautiful game. It is stunning, okay? And I have to say, this game was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, they are saying like four to three hours close to Planet of Lana's, but realistically it was like six hours because I was trying to find all the collectibles and the stuff that I like to do is just exploring games. I don't really care that much to, you know, do just the main quest and beeline it to the ending. It's not really my type of thing to do, but I have to say that the story in this one was a lot more personal for me, and because of that, and the way that there's multiple different types of game mechanics that aren't platformy, but you're kind of surprised in the game of what you're doing. If, if you're just going in blind, which I recommend anyone, if you just go in blind via Game Pass and you just play it, you're starting to think it's a walking simulator at first, but then it becomes more puzzly and there's a lot more interactions going on with a scrapbook you make of the history that you've had in the certain chapters that you experience through the game. And with all of this happening, the music is so good. It is very electronic ambient, um, but it reminds me of something called, I don't know, Icelandic music. It's, I forget what it's called. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. But yeah, that type of music where it's orchestral, but it's all electronic. Some of my favorite types of uh, pieces have been done in that type of genre. So having that paired with Dordogne and uh, trying to find the Kulabra, the, the serpent in the sea of the the Donia's uh, river. That whole storyline with the people and trying to figure out what is happening with this mystery thing going on, where you actually have to read files and papers and letters that are actually important, and they aren't like other games where it really feels like every part of this game was clearly thought out, and you're rewarded heavily in the story by actually looking out for the pieces and trying to connect the mystery of what really happened because not all of it is actually told to you, which I like. I like that you actually get rewarded with the lore and there's no recap weird shit going on where they're trying to figure out the, the player's like idea of if they didn't find all the letters, how to explain it. They don't do that. You really do have to experience the game in a way that is slower paced and i enjoy that i enjoy that i'm getting rewarded for reading these letters which aren't that many okay so it's not like you're getting full-on novels like in some certain games like skyrim it's not like that bad so yeah dordogne story to me was a lot better than planet of lana's and visually i liked dordogne's more when it comes to just the 3d element with the 2d versus just a 2d platform 2d backdrops for a kind of like 3d look like a it's parallax i forget the term for it but yeah with that i'm gonna have to put planet of lana to an eight and i'm gonna have to put dordogne to a nine because i really enjoyed this game and i also recommend you play it in maybe bursts of each chapter because you can kind of think about it after you play each chapter and it's way more enjoyable to kind of like a tv show watch an episode and then try to figure out what you think about that chapter and how it affected you or how it didn't affect you anyway i hope you have good rest and i'll talk to you in the next short review bye-bye now